Thank you. My name is Kevin Rice. I'm an assistant professor of entomology and state extension specialist at the university. Myself and Dr. Camera Rial thought it might be a good idea to just give a brief update on this Asian giant hornet. So if you've been around the media or social media, you've probably seen these really scary headlines recently. In the last few days, it's just been explosive about these, what they're calling murderous hornets, or that these are really dangerous. And basically, this seems to be over sensationalization. A lot of it just isn't fact-based. So that's what we're presenting today. First of all, the term murderous is not a true scientific term. Scientists, entomologists, we do not call these hornets that. Uh, that was created by the social media. We refer to them as Asian giant hornets because they are the world's largest hornet. They are native to Asia. And just to put some perspective on this invasion that's being hyped, there was one nest of this hornet discovered and confirmed in Vancouver, Canada in 2019. And then in December, and that was eradicated, that nest was eradicated. In December of 2019, there was one dead wasp that was discovered in the state of Washington. And that is the only science-based evidence that we have that there are any wasps in North America. In fact, we don't believe these are highly populated there. Washington is currently looking for more of them, just to be sure. And I just want to put things in perspective. The literature from Asia reports that these hornets are responsible for up to about 50 casualties per year in Asia or in Japan. In the United States, that sounds scary at first, but again, perspective, there's 200 casualties per year in the United States by deer automobile accidents. And in the United States, we have at least 60 people on average per year that die from bee stings or hornets or wasps. So this is in the normal realm of a stinging insect. And there's been a lot of misleading information in the news reports reported that this species of hornet is highly aggressive. Well, that's just not true. It rarely attacks humans. And of most of the cases where it has attacked humans in the native region, it's when their nest has been disturbed. Just like our wasps and, and hornets here in the United States, they really have no interest in attacking mammals unless their nest is threatened. There's also a lot of quotes suggesting that the venom of this particular Hornet is equivalent to a snake's venom, and that really doesn't provide any biological information, right? There are some venomous snakes that if you get bit by, you don't even require a hospitalization or a doctor's visit. And there are other very extremely potently venomous snakes. So that, it really just doesn't provide any meaningful information. They also claim that this particular hornet can sting through bee suits. Well, that's nothing new. Beekeepers are quite aware that uh, they can be stung. And in fact, if you look at this picture here, when beekeepers are treating the hive, they actually use smoke to calm the bees down. And that's simply because they can be stung when they're wearing these suits. Lastly, there have been beekeepers in Washington that have claimed that they have lost their colonies due to this wasp. And there is absolutely no science-based evidence for those claims. We do know that honeybees in North America are under extreme stresses with varroa mites, with colony collapse disorder, with viruses and insecticides. There's no evidence that hives in America are being attacked by this wasp. Just a little background on the hornet. In Asia, in the native region, it is a predator of honeybees and that is a concern in Asia. It, uh, it kills adults and it also consumes the juvenile bees in the nest so it can kill an entire hive. Some of the cool behaviors that the Asian honeybees have developed because they've co-evolved with this insect, with this predator, uh, they have these behavioral defenses. One of them is called heat balling. So if you look at that picture, the, when the hive is attacked, the bees will actually swarm the hornet and create enough heat with their bodies and their wing beats that they cook and kill the hornet when it attacks the hive. The hornets themselves will actually mark a hive with a pheromone to attract their nestmates when they find a good resource of bees. The Asian honeybees will actually go out and get flower extracts when they, when they detect this pheromone and, and smear it over the pheromone to camouflage their nest. So it's pretty cool behaviors. Again, our species of honeybee in the United States, we have the European honeybee. It did not have this relationship with wasp, so we wouldn't expect it to be able to exhibit any of these behaviors. However, being said, we do not expect this to be a major problem in the United States. There's no evidence that they're widespread or even have a, an established population in North America. So just some general identification. 
The Asian giant hornet is a lot bigger than our uh, hornets or wasps that we experience on a typical basis here. It's about two inches in length. The most common picture that we're seeing in our mail when people are concerned, the public are concerned, is the European hornet, which is very common here. So that's pictured on the bottom. So our take home message today is that there was a single dead wasp that was detected in Washington, in the state of Washington. There are no severe human health concerns associated with this insect. And the likelihood that you would experience this insect anywhere in the Midwest is extremely low. We do want to remind people that uh, wasps and hornets provide, our, our native species provide extremely important biological control to our agricultural systems. And unfortunately, the public has sort of reacted to these news hypes by basically spraying or trying to kill anything that has a yellow or black markings as an insect. So what you can do, obviously being educated and knowing the ID will help. Again, we don't want anyone to overreact and be killing wasps uh, that are unnecessary. And again, the, the take home message here is you're not going to see this hornet in Missouri anytime soon, if at all. And with that, I don't know if Tamara has anything else to add, uh, but we'll be happy to answer any questions too. I don't have a lot to add other than there is a question in the chat. How do we think they got to Vancouver? Probably the way many of our invasive insects do. They come over with global travel and shipping. So hopefully we are able to keep them from being able to spread or come over. But like what Kevin said, please take a look at the native bees that we have here. Learn to appreciate them. They are wonderful and we do not want to destroy them. So if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me and or Kevin.